And do what? Talk to Kamalani and I'll send her a video of you. Hi, Kamalani. It's me, Papa Ole again. Your dad faithfully visits me every Sunday about this time. And around four o'clock our time, three to four, now it's 4.30, quarter to five. And we talk about wonderful things. And we were just talking about out of body experience when you die like I did when my heart stopped. And it was the most wonderful experience I had in my life. Everything was good. I wasn't sick anymore. I didn't even think about being sick, but I'm just floating. And then a real soft white light and I was up on the ceiling and I could look down and see my body and surely next to me. And she was asleep and I was out of my body now up on the ceiling looking down and then I just floated towards this white light, soft white light. Everything was just all good. That's the only way I can explain it. I'm not thinking I want to get back in my body. It was just so good I'm going for it. And I'm singing the old rugged cross as I'm floating towards two angels way up ahead. And they were standing by a gate, those two angels. And as I got closer to them, a voice came and now I'm really enjoying this. I'm not thinking they're going back. I'm just having, things are perfect. No more sickness, I'm just perfect. Everything is wonderful. Never had such a wonderful feeling in my life. And then a voice came and said, Harold, get back in your body right now. And zip, I'm back in my body on that bed next to Shirley and I'm alive. And I'm sick and shaking just like I was before I had the out of body experience. And I woke up shortly, she called an ambulance, they picked me up, took me back to the hospital, and I had a septic poisoning, they call it. They had got I'd gotten an infection in this hospital in Minnesota. And uh fifty they say the fifty percent of the people that and get that septic poisoning, die. The other 50% wake up and come back. I was one of the ones that when that voice came and came and said, Oli, or Harold, get back in your body right now. And I was sick again and shaking and surely called the ambulance. We got to the hospital and I had septic poisoning. That's where the infection goes through your whole body. And only half of the people that get that live. And I'm in that half that lived because God had more for me to do for him. So that changed my life. I have no fear of dying because it's all good. God has a plan. I'm happy today, and my life is to do God's will, not mine. God, what's your will for me today? That's what I pray today.